What's up YouTube? It's your girl Rochelle and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we are doing a recap, a budget closeout for the month of June 2021. Now if that's something you want to see, then stick around. First off, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing y'all to bomb.com. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the actual numbers. I'm going to give you the hot tea and let you guys know how it went for us in the month of June. And you know, I really felt some type of way this month because the reality is setting in that I have acquired a new vehicle, which means I got debt again, y'all. I got some debt, but really the, the energy is still the same. Okay. Debt really ain't it. Okay. So I had to rock my t-shirt. If you want to get one for you, um, check out my website, RochelleAdamson.com. Okay, so I am recording on my Canon G7X, which always has audio problems, but I am packing, and so we're gonna do the best we can because your girl packed up the microphone, and I need my phone to share the numbers with y'all. Like, that's how this works. So anyway, let's get started. You always know I love using YNAB. If you wanna know why I use YNAB, check out the video somewhere here. And for today's video, since I did not finish plugging in my YNAB uh, entries, I am using my favorite on the go free app, free 99 y'all, spending tracker app. I got it right here. I'll have a link in my bio if it's something you wanna try. And I'm gonna screen record so you can see why I love it so much. Okay, this is not sponsored by the way, I wish. <laughs> but I don't even know who, who makes this app. But literally the name of the app is spending tracker app. Okay, all right. So let me turn on screen record because I am going to give y'all the realness and we're going to hope and pray we don't get a whole bunch of text messages and phone calls. Alrighty, for the month of June, we brought in a total income of $20,340.83. 20K in one month? I know. I know what you must be thinking. Like, Rochelle, how? What? what? Well... Good news, I'm gonna share with you how I make money that I make. First off, you have to check out my passive income video if you wanna know how I side hustle and make money and have multiple streams of income while being at home, being a stay at home homeschooling mom. Um, it doesn't bring in a huge amount of money, not 20K, but it definitely helps to cushion and supplement our income so that I can afford to stay home instead of paying childcare and going to work. Okay. You get my draft. First off, second off actually, my husband is an electrical engineer, so there's that. He made, he makes some coin, okay? It's just what it is. We have worked very hard to get to where we are, and we're not about to slip up and not budget it out. Um, we did have to move, okay? We were making money, you know, in Baltimore, Maryland, but we got an offer to transfer to Honolulu, Hawaii, and we did it. We did that two years ago. So, um, hence an increase in the income again. I say all that to say, let's just dive into the numbers. First up, you know, we had to pay rent $5,500. We have to pay it and then we get it reimbursed. That's part of the deal for us being here in Hawaii temporarily. That will be changing shortly though, because he got his job offer, y'all. We're gonna stay here permanent, so that stipend is going out the window. So things are about to go down. Are you scared? Because I'm a little scared. Okay, next up are the debt payments. We got debt, right? Well, this, this is why I love this app. If you head over to the transactions tab and scroll up, tap on all categories, and let's see what we spent that on. Because I am so open and honest with you guys. As you guys know, we got into some debt. Tap the tap to hide picker and you can see exactly where our money went. We do live a credit card lifestyle, so some things I categorize as debt payments because I just used a credit card to pay for them, but I always categorize them as debt so that I know, Rochelle, you better make sure that you zero them out at the end of the month. So that's where we are right here. 
Chase received $1,567.57. The mortgage, we, our mortgage is technically about $596 a month. I know, I know, right? Crazy. That's the mortgage in Maryland though, okay? Not the mortgage here. And we make double payments. And actually our mortgage payment was originally about $640 a month, but because we pay it and we hit the interest so hard, our mortgage payment has dropped down to below $600. And we still keep paying that plus an additional $640 every month. So that's what you see here. If you wanna know how it's going with the mortgage payoff journey, I in the sky somewhere here. Next up is my husband's Capital One that got $601.85. That was literally a series of transactions. I might throw something up in the screen here. I cannot remember, but if Micah is using that credit card, he only uses it like once every few months. It probably has something to do with the Tesla. Not going to even lie to y'all. That's the only thing this man spends money on right now. <laughs> so we're just going to chalk it up to that. Like I said, a very debt filled month. Next up is my Apple credit card, which totaled $548.02. Again, I do use a credit card and then I zero it out with my personal money that my husband and, um, and I have each month. There it is. I knew something was going to pop up. Whoops, wrong month. Okay, then, um, so yeah, my husband and I each get $400 every month. And I had some extra and so I bought some things using my Apple credit card. Also, I have some bills that clear on my Apple credit card like uh, YouTube, but no, not YouTube, Netflix and Prime Video, which I think is for BritBox. Couple little things that I like to pay for because I know that we only have those subscriptions because of me. My husband doesn't use Netflix. Um, next up is Micah's Apple credit card. Now I have a note here that says that his current balance is $3,337.17 and that is the total price of his MacBook. And so if the balance ever goes above that, I pay that and zero, and zero it out because the goal is like everybody else. We are stashing cash all summer. We are pausing, paying everything off and we're still going to continue the double mortgage payments. But I need to stack my cash. We have spent so much money cash flow in a home kitchen renovation back home in Maryland. We have bought a Tesla. We just, it's gotta stop. It's gotta stop. Okay, you get my drift. So $261.34 went to my husband's Apple credit card. He has the YouTube premium. He, this is the credit card for the whole family to use. So like my in-laws in Mexico, everybody's on family plan. So if you buy anything, it goes on that card. And he's like, what's up y'all? What's up? No, he's not. He, he, he never even says anything. It's terrible. It's terrible. Um, and then I made an additional Apple credit card um, payment of $198.80. Again, that's just me using my card and cash flow on the transactions. Next up is Venture. This is the card that when we have, feel like we're comfortable and we've saved enough cash, we're going to hit it hard. Venture is the second of three cards that we currently have a balance on. I told you guys. I am so upfront. I don't care. I'm not embarrassed because I have been up here and been consumer debt free and I have, you know, acquired debt. Um, but the point is to pay it off. So we made two snowball small payments of 153 and 148.65. Then my Capital One card got a payment of $17.49. That was for just some business stuff. And then Chase got a random payment of $4.18. More on that in another video. Okay, but you get the point. Debt payments were made, y'all. Next up is electronic sinking funds. That got a total of $4,631.68. Let's jump back over. Let's see, what did we do? How did we do that? What did we save for? First up, the Tesla. See what I mean? The Tesla, whoo. Anyway, we bought our Tesla. We don't have any payments yet. Those don't start till August. But what we did have to pay on delivery day, if y'all want to know how delivery day, click it, click it. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm not going to front. Um, we had to pay $3,195.04. Now, I only had to save $2,195.04 and put it toward the registration fees and taxes um, because we had already put $1,000 to the side last month. That's the thing. When you buy a car from Tesla, they want their registration and taxes up front. I love it. No hidden fees. So all we have left to pay is the actual financing loan, which um, 
um, only has about $4,000 of interest built in because we have such a low interest rate. Like I said, check out the video if you want to know how all the numbers go. Then we put a good amount toward our Hawaii sinking fund, $840.39. You see, three times we did that. Then we pay our car insurance every six months, but we save about $357 a month so that we can pay it in full when it's time to pay it again. Now our car insurance is very high right now on purpose because I haven't really driven a car during the pandemic. Um, we have one car, but it's my husband's work car. And so when we bought the Tesla, I had not rented a car because have y'all seen the rental car crisis and how rental cars are like 700 a month right now? Okay, anyway, I did not you know, drive for about nine months, maybe even a little longer. And your girl was a little scared, okay? So I got out on the road and I'm like, please don't let nobody. It's been a breeze. It's been a breeze, okay? I've been doing so good. So once this six months is up, we will knock it down. Then we put $39.17 to the side for taxes and that was from my YouTube income. Jumping back over to the main screen by hitting the spending button, we had cash envelopes. Cash envelopes made bank this month, okay? $1,790, let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't tell you any, okay, we'll just go back. I don't really describe what, because once cash is cashed out, I don't follow it, I don't track it, none of that, because cash is made to be spent. Um, personal money got $800, so see how we took money and then we put it back. Um, and that is for my husband and I, we each get 400. Debt snowball, okay, so this is an additional debt snowball payment that we made this month, which is kinda crazy, I know, but let's go to the income and I'll show you why. So let me tap there and go to all income and you can see we expected to get paid twice in the month of june from my husband's job but we actually received a partial check for july which was totally weird because remember I, I put up my video saying in july it's a magic month we get paid three times but they paid us randomly early half you know for one week instead of two weeks so for 40 hours and so i had to budget that out and we have an auto pay of six auto direct deposit of six hundred and forty dollars that goes straight to the account attached to the mortgage so i couldn't do anything about it but make an extra mortgage payment but what i did was i went ahead and paid august mortgage excuse me <clears throat> and um so anything that i pay for the whole month of july is all principal baby this is what i'm talking about the magic of extra mortgage payments if you can only pay an extra five dollars do it. Do it. Okay, so that is why we had such, you know, uh, an extra amount toward the mortgage. Next up is we saved $600. So let's go to savings and see what that was. Um, oh, okay, okay. The nickel challenge. Y'all, if you watch my cash stuffing videos, you know that your girl has been struggling on the nickel challenge. And if you wanna know how that went, check out my savings challenge update video. But basically, we were able to put $250 to the nickel challenge and $150 to the hot girl savings challenge. Come on, y'all, get with it, it's fun. And then we put $200 toward our emergency fund. Anything outside of the emergency fund, like any money that I save, is going toward the mortgage. Did I say? I'm not playing and I want this mortgage gone by December. Did I mention that yet? Okay, going back to the main tab, food, $587.32. It feels high, I don't know why. June was not that long of a month. Anyway, that's what we spent. I don't really track what was fast food, what was groceries, what was dining in, what was takeout. As long as we spend like 5% of our income on food, that's where I'm at mentally right now because inflation, inflation, inflation. Anyway, next up, our regular bills. This is the part that I'm gonna enjoy for the, I think we only have one more month that our bills are so low. Our regular bills only came to $262.03. So let's see what that is. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, regular bills, regular bills. Our phone bill, which is for a family of three. <laughs> we pay my mom's bill too. Hi, mommy. And that comes to $186.09. That is an unlimited plan. We are still on the old plan. This plan doesn't even exist anymore. And we found a hack. 
The hack is to keep the plan. If you need to upgrade your phone, like if something happens to your phone, buy a new phone and pay cash and you, they will let you keep your plan. So we have unlimited talk text data and we don't pay like that full, yeah, anyway. Then we put $68.10 toward our June, July bills because remember our bills are one month ahead and that is the reason I started using YNAD. So if you are interested in um, a way to grow your money and make, put all your money to work so that you can get ahead at least by one month, check out any of my YNAB videos. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. I love every dollar, okay? I was team every dollar until I really dove into YNAB. Next up, I needed a new razor. I told y'all about this. So it came to $7.42. And my husband's crunchy roll, it's usually $6.99 a month, but they apparently get to charge tax now and so extra 42 cent whatever um, miscellaneous was two hundred and five dollars and twenty two cent we gave two hundred dollars we put two hundred dollars toward our home repair sinking fund for our property back in Maryland and my website got eighty three dollars and forty four cent that's how much I made from my website and passive income from selling products like this and this okay come on all right, and shout out to Asia Sierra. I saw you, girl. I saw you rocking my old. See that she got the the OG. She got the debt ain't it 1.0. Those, if you want one, let me know. If you guys watched Asia's video and you saw her debt ain't it T-shirt, oh, it's time for me to cook. Let me know. So anyway, if we add all that up, we have a zero balance. It brings our total to twenty thousand three hundred and forty dollars and eighty three cent. If we hop over and turn our phone, boop. Actually, let me stop it to the side. Let's see how the, the numbers break down. This is why I love this app. So first up, rent got 27% of our income roundabout. Debt payments, 23.5%. We put a huge chunk in savings in our electronic sinking funds, 22.77%. Cash envelopes got 8.8%. .8 personal money for my husband and I to blow on whatever we want and not have to talk about it came to 3.93 percent um debt snowball came to oh I'm messing this up debt snowball okay 3.15 percent so that's in addition to the debt payments so if you add all of that up that was about 26 percent of our whole income this month that went toward debt about 22 percent went to savings at least and about 27% went towards rent. And the reason I block out rent separately is because literally to live in Hawaii is so expensive. Others, now coming from Baltimore, Maryland, the other stuff doesn't really scream expensive to me because I really feel like we were overpaying for things in Baltimore. So that kind of worked out in our favor when we moved here. It's just housing and food that's high. Next up are uh, savings. Savings got 2.95% um, and that's outside of the sinking fund savings. So that's just savings that we would touch only in case of an emergency. Next up is food. Food got 2.89%. See, this is why I'm not tripping about food right now. As long as we stay under 5%, I'm, I'm okay. I'm really okay with it. Um, and this is why cash envelopes works for me because whatever is in them cash envelopes is it. And then, um, so if we want to go to like Whole Foods, Safeway, Foodland, anything, swap me, whatever, that's all cash. But if we ever want to buy and do a grocery haul like Sam's Club or Costco, that is this money right here. Alrighty, miscellaneous came to 2.89%. Um, oh no, no, I'm sorry. Mis miscellaneous came to one point zero one percent and everything else is literally less than one percent you can see it home repairs my website that's and my website ra.com literally rochelleadamson.com is literally like any income i just i just put it to the side and literally i already know at the end of the year mortgage payment i'm not playing so yeah, you can see eating out came to 0.23%. Investments from my daughter, 0.05%. We're definitely going to be beefing that up. Right now, my husband and I use our personal money that we get, that 400 per person each month, to invest. Um, and he also has some built-in uh, investments that he does through his job. And bank fees came to less than, it was like 0.02%. So I love, love, love this app. You can see our cash flow over the last 12 months. You can really see how we've spent. So like I said, June, June was a pretty expensive month. Even though it doesn't show on here weird, I, I just know. 
that we spent more than that. But I just like these graphs. I'm a bars and graphs type person. And look, you can even do dollars if you want it and really see the amounts that you put to the side. So this is what I do. That's our month of June. That's our budget review. And I'm so excited to dive into the month of July. We did already have an expense that was kind of unexpected um, because we had to take care of something for the car. It's okay. Uh, outside of that, things are going great so far. How's your month going? How was June for you? Let me know in the comments. Talk to me, y'all. I appreciate all the engagement. I am seeing you guys, okay? I'm seeing my views go up, and I appreciate it, okay? I'm seeing all the new people. Thank you, YouTube algorithm. We back, baby. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace, love, and budgets. Get your t-shirt. Get your t-shirt. Get your t-shirt. Bye, y'all.